Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to solve TCS programming MCQ questions around 15 questions we are going to solve and without much delay let's start our video guys and if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel so here comes our very first question guys so we are given a for loop in which we are system dot out dot print ln i we are printing the value of i it's fine but we are asked to find the statement which defines the condition for the loop to run okay fine so if we generally if you look at, at the syntax of any loop for example if you take a loop there are three terms included initialization initialization first one and then comes the condition and then comes the updation so we need to find the condition statement condition statement is i less than 10 option c is the correct answer so initialization i is equals to 0 is the initialization i less than 10 is the condition updation is updating the value for each iteration i plus plus option c is the correct answer so moving on to the next question guys here comes the second one so we are given a code snippet where a print statement is included so print hello world here we see a different kind of characters hash b hash b hash b like forward hash so if you want to solve this question guys you must know the meaning of this character this is a escape character in c language we call escape characters so if you want to know more about escape characters you can know like uh, this is a escape character ash n ash t so the meaning of ash n is new line whenever this ash n is encountered new the compiler will go to the new line this is a tab space so similarly this ash b is a backspace escape character backspace so if you if you, uh, the compiler encounters backspace character so it goes back by respect to characters for example here the compiler prints hello world h e l l o and exclamation then w o r l d this is printed but there are one two three three backspace characters so the compiler will go back by three characters and then after we encounter b b two b's so again two b's are printed again one backspace character is encountered so again one character is cut then after hi h i so the right answer is option d guys you can observe it so moving on moving on to the next question guys here comes the third one few lines of code is given so integer i is equals to 2 fine and then after we encounter if condition within the if condition plus plus i star 6 less than equal to 11 if this is true we need to execute the print statement else we need to execute print goodnight so let's find out so guys plus plus i is a pre-increment operator so in pre-increment operator the value of the variable will be used in the present condition also like plus plus i so 2 becomes 3 3 star 6 less than equal to 11 18 less than equal to 11 false statement guys this is false so false so this statement is not executed and then the compiler goes to else case so print good night option b is printed so the fourth question is here so how many bytes of memory would be required to store a, a the difference between uh, them is it is a character so this is a string so basically you would be thinking that there is a single character in both the string and the single character so both of them should act with this equal storage so this assumption is wrong guys because so always strings in c are terminated by a null character so null character occupies the storage so here the actual space required to store this is only one byte one byte but whereas coming to this uh, string it is actually stored as a plus the escape uh, null character zero i mean null character it is termed as null character so two bytes two bytes are required so one comma two will be the answer option b and here comes the fifth question which of the following is the correct example of octal literal so normally in c language we represent octal literal by int x is equals to just by adding zero before it like zero 
one one zero is the right answer option c is the correct answer so guys if you want to find out the value of integer x in decimal what will be the value so 0 8 16 24 will be the value of x integer x in decimal form here comes the sixth question guys extreme programming practice xp uses oops it uses the uses the framework so this is a theory question guys uh, you must know theory question so option a is the correct answer basically we include planning designing coding and testing the framework xp and moving on to the next question here comes the seventh one so for example this is about the time complexity time complexity so guys let us suppose that there is a for loop and it runs for n times for i equal to 0 i less than n n times so if you want to find out the time complexity it will be order of n so suppose there are two for loops two for loops and uh, each running for n times then the time complexity will be order of n square but here there is a function and within the function there is no loop and there is no recursion and there is no call to other function so the only thing present in this function is return statement so then this then the time complexity will be directly order of one only one line is included that is the return statement directly returning so option a is the correct answer so guys moving on to the eighth question here comes the concept of macros see basically macros uh, we find it in c so these are just a fragment of code or part of a code so it is directly replaced by the given part like for example hash define where a we replace it by four so wherever the where a is found in the code it is replaced by four directly as define for example if i use as define pi 3.14 and if i use it uh, in a particular code and if wherever pi is encountered so it is directly replaced by this 3.14 value so this is about the macro now let's look into the code variable a4 variable b4 we have defined the macro and all variable we defined it as where a plus where b three different macros are defined and now finally result is equals to all variable star r variable now let's uh, find out the result result is equal to all variable so this is a macro so if we, it goes to the here the third line macro is defined as all variable can be written as where a plus where b and all variable again star all variable can be written as where a plus where b so the one important point in macros is we have to replace it first then we have to expand it like we we cannot uh, directly find out the value of where a plus where b and then after multiplying where a plus where b then we get 64 as the answer it is a wrong answer because 4 plus 4 and then we are multiplying 4 plus 4 we get 8 star 8 is equal to 64 this is wrong answer so what we need to do is first of all we have to expand the macro fine then we need to fo uh, follow the board mass rule so multiplication for comes first where b star where a, 4 into 4 4 plus 4 into 4 so 4 plus 16 plus 4 the final answer is 24 c is the correct answer so here comes the ninth question guys how can we prevent the memory leak in c which uh, we have allocated using the dynam dynamic memory allocation so basically using dynamic memory allocation we allocate some memory some amount of memory so if that memory is not used or uh, utilize, not utilized so it goes wasted so in order to prevent that we use a concept called freeing of the pointer free ptr so here the memory is released memory is released option b is the correct answer 10th question is here integer digit is equals to zero if digit print one else print digit so i have already told you that if of zero is always false and if of non-zero value is non-zero value is always true so now if we see here if digit the uh, value of digit is zero so if of zero print one so this is false statement is false so not executed and whenever the if is failed we move to else case else print digit 
and most of you get confused that print digit it doesn't print the va value of digit 0 so option b is wrong answer because here digit is not the variable not variable it is a string digit string digit the sequence so option c will be the correct answer so instead if you have print digit without these double quotes so the option would have been v i mean the right option but now the option c is the correct answer and here comes the 11th question guys where we encountered a for loop and we are printing skip number the variable so let's uh, loop from right from a number is equals to 1 to 5 so skip number is a require uh, here the variable so it is 1 initially and then yeah, the condition should be it should be less than 5 and increment so let's uh, start from the beginning if skip number is equal double equals to 2 or 4 so initially it is 1 is it equal to 2 or 4 no then continue only if it is 2 or 4 we need to continue i mean go to the next iteration else see out skip number so this is the i am printing here so one will be printed and then goes to the next iteration skip number plus plus so the value will be 2 now skip number double equals to 2 so this condition is true so continue statement is executed so what we are uh, whenever the continue statement is executed the code below the continue statement will be ignored so 2 will not be printed and moving on to the next iteration 3 so 3 not equals to 2 or 4 so 3 will be printed and then moving on 4 4 will not will not be printed 5 will be printed 135 will be the required answer because here we have encountered continuous statement for the values of 2 and 4 here comes the 12th question a short piece of code so there are three variables integers integer rate is equals to 15 p is equals to 10 and interim interim is a variable result is initialized to 0 so interim is equals to rate percentile piece so 15 percentile 10 uses 5 the remainder is 5 so 5 is stored in the interim and result is equals to result plus initially the result value is 0 0 plus interim by 5 interim value is 5 5 by 5 is 1 result is equals to 1 so finally 1 will be printed option D is the correct answer I'm moving on to the 13th question here comes a code int is our main int main int x equals to 1 y equals 1 two variables x and n and if condition if of y is equals to 0 so i have i have already told you that if of non-zero value is always true but if of zero is always false so this is a false statement so this is not executed x will not be updated to 3 and else case as soon as the if case is fair it goes to else case x is equals to 5 x is updated to 5 now we need to print the value of x option c is the correct answer 